We're having a couple of cold weather issues here in the van. After an awesome day on the mountain, we came back to the van to find a couple of issues that we thought would be pretty easy to fix. I can't believe that just worked. Those happy faces were in for a rude awakening. The heater has turned out to be much more of an issue. Because sometimes what you really need is help from a stranger. If you're thinking about doing winter van life, this is an episode you do not want to miss. Be sure to subscribe and let's get into today's FNA vlog. And our heater was in fault which is not good because it is very cold. It is going to be a very long cold night. It is 10 degrees Fahrenheit outside right now. If we don't get this fixed, we are going to freeze. Our water is going to freeze. We're going to have a lot of issues. <sighs> Wish me luck. <sighs> oh, that's warm. It's so cold outside right now. Holy crap. I'm going to turn the van around and see if the angle of the van helps get it running because right now the line is going downhill. I'm sorry, the line is going uphill in order for it to get to the machine. If we swap it around and go the other way, the fuel will go downhill and hopefully that helps. I think that there's just an air bubble in it. That's what I'm hoping for. In our attempts to save money on gas, we actually have been running the tank pretty low to get to the next town to be able to fill up at a little bit of a cheaper price. Um, but so Frank thinks that that might have allowed the heater to get an air bubble in it if the tank was super low and then it was still trying to suck because sometimes we put the heater on while we're driving to make sure that the back of the van stays warm and the air is well, warm and the water is warm. It, um, so it, we might it have- actually, It actually recommends that you don't go below a quarter tank and we definitely did that. Like the van takes 24 gallons and we had to fill up 22. So we were on E and only probably had a couple miles left before we were empty. Imagine we also got stuck in the snow. That'd be horrible. There's also a really sweet bonfire going on over there that it looks like a ton of people are hanging out at. And we were like, oh, that's gonna be so fun. We'll go meet some new friends. And then we came back to the van and are dealing with this instead. So, that's fun. So turn the heater on. Okay, let's try this again. We're gonna probably have to do it like five or six times. It still says HO2 like immediately. Right, it's gonna say that. You just gotta click through it. Okay, it's green. <sighs> it takes about five to 10 minutes to cycle between like if it's gonna work or not. So now we just wait. Okay, let's go test and see if the air is coming on. <gasps> Baby. Yeah. It worked. Heck yeah. <laughs> Turn your oh around. my gosh. Get that angle right. Oh. Phew. Oh my gosh, that was that could have been a great big annoying disaster. I can't believe that just worked. I'm so happy that it was just an air bubble and we don't have to worry about any high altitude situation, reprogramming anything. Oh man, the universe is on our side. Do we have to worry about the high altitude thing eventually? Maybe. I was testing to see if we ever had to. Ugh. What? <laughs> this guy's crazy. You guys let me live with this man. Let's go uh, say hi. What about dinner? I'm so hungry. Uh, I guess I'll have a snack. I'll do say, a snack. Let's go say hi and then come out there. Can I have a cracker with peanut butter, please? Sure, of course you can. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> this is all for me, Papa. No problem. Okay, so we're getting ready to go over to this bonfire. Am I the only one who gets very socially anxious about approaching a whole group of people that I don't know? I don't know. I'm like, should we really? Frank's like, yeah, we should. I'm like, I don't know. He's like, let's go. I'm like, I don't know. He's like, let's go. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Let's see. Five minutes later. Well, that was a bad idea. Uh, it was a bunch of like the ski instructors and stuff and everybody knew each other. And nobody was really interested in talking to anybody. So we were just kind of like, Hi! We talked to one girl for a little bit. She was nice. She was nice, but she was also like, I don't really want to be talking to you. <laughs> Who knows? That's the vibe that I got. Potato, potato. But I was also in my brain about it the whole time. Before we even went out there, Alex was like, I don't know, I'm scared. I don't like meeting new people. And then the new people didn't want to meet me, and I was yeah, proved right. Eh, it is what it is. 
So anyways, like we're gonna make some delicious dinner now. The van's heat is pumping. We're gonna get some heat pumping on the dinner and we're gonna be nice and cozy in here tonight. Oh, I can't wait for that, I'm so excited. We had dinner, it was a pretty delicious tofu bolognese. I actually, do you like this? I like this it a lot. It was delicious, yeah. Yeah, it's good. It's going down to 20 degrees tonight. No, no, it is going down to 10 degrees tonight. My bad. Two problems. The first is that the heater is pumping now, which is great, but, but the air is still like kind of cool and it's gonna be fighting all night to keep the space warm. So we're pulling out our biggest blanket. This is a shit show. I mean, I'm glad that we don't have to open up the doors to get to it, though. Oh my god, we lose so much heat. I think that's one of the problems, too, is like, we have had to open up the doors quite often. And we might get to a better point later on today, or later on tonight, but it cold as hell. Summer bed. Winter bed. Yippee! <laughs> oh, it's so nice. Yeah. I'm never getting out again. <laughs> I'm gonna stay here. You can drive us to warm places and oh, then I'll get out, okay? Okay, you were the one who wanted to I do know. snowboarding. I do want to snowboard, but man, I became a bitch. <laughs> Frank was just saying, he's like, maybe we don't have to snowboard all winter. Like, maybe we could, maybe we could just do like a like light snowboarding. And I'm like, okay. I just don't know how I did it. We definitely didn't have as, uh, I guess we had the same amount of windows. Anyways, Frank got soft in the last year living in Florida, so. In the last year living in Florida? First off, I didn't live in Florida the whole year. Whatever, whatever, We were whatever. there for the winter. We were there for like three months, and so now <laughs> he doesn't know how to do winter. Yeah, I'm trying to learn again. I'm, try I'm trying. All right, let's get cozy. You want to get in the bed? You say, I love you. Good boy. That was a good one. One more blanket for good measure. And I feel instantly toasty. It's the blanket, it's the, the winter blanket. The blanket's cold underneath. My, I can feel the coldness of the blanket, but for whatever reason, like, the air got warmer. It's because I came over. You stay over here, you warm little heat blanket, you. <laughs> Body heat's the best here. way to stay warm in the winter. Get over here and give me some kisses. I know it does. You give me so much grief. I will admit, I didn't want to stretch, but it actually <laughs> feels very good. After our first day snowboarding, it would be so stupid not to stretch. <laughs> You're right. We're going to be destroyed tomorrow. It's such a headache. The heater has turned out to be much more of an issue. The flame sensor is saying that it is not coming on. And we don't know if it's because of the high altitude we're at or if it's something else. So we're gonna head down. Yeah, it's like 11 o'clock. It's about an hour drive to town. We're both pretty tired and feeling it from today. It's 10 degrees hotter in town. The thing that sucks is that we bought a heater with a high altitude with the, kit. With, we bought a heater with more money, expecting that it would do better than our previous heater. Our previous heater, we never had an issue with. Never. Ugh. All right, so we're gonna head down to town. Luckily, I feel okay enough to drive. I feel like crap. Alex has a headache, and rightfully so. Tonight's been a bit of a headache for us. All right. Let's go. Good morning. Morning, guys. We had a rough night last night. A it was nice sleep. and warm under the blanket, but the air got very cold. Luckily, it was only floating around freezing here in Bozeman. We woke up to a pretty cold van. I would say it was still above freezing in here because our water wasn't frozen. Nothing inside was frozen, which is great. The downside is, is now I have to rip apart and rip everything out of the van and take the heater out and clean it all out in order for us to be able to run it at all. We're gonna have to like fudge with the heater all day today. Yeah. Which is not what Ideal. we wanted to do. But that's and part of the lifestyle. It's unfortunate, but for what we do, it's part of the lifestyle. The only 
thing that gets me is that we bought a much cheaper product the last time. And it worked great. It worked way better. What Basso was saying, whenever you're above 5,000 feet in altitude, you're gonna have problems with the heater, even with the high altitude kit. Which is So what is the point? Makes no sense. Makes no sense. We're so angry. But for now, we're gonna head over to Lowe's. We're gonna get a temporary fix. Our van is a mess right now. Oh my God. I mean, like an absolute wreckage in here. There's a lot of things that I have to do and Alex isn't feeling the best. I feel like absolute dog crap. On our drive last night, it was all I could do to not throw up. I think it all has to do with altitude though, for Alex. Probably. We just got our COVID test back. We're negative, so but we can cross the border. But now we only have 24 hours to get to the border. <sighs> what a shit show. All right, we're gonna stop complaining and we're gonna start making solutions. We're gonna start fixing our issues. And then that way we can be positive and things will work out a bit better. Alex, what's happening? Remember when I said that we had two issues? Well, this is the second issue and it's just getting worse. Our gray tank goes outside of the van, which is very handy for dumping it, but it's frozen and so it won't let any water go into it. So the sink has like this much water in it. We've been trying to like regulate and use paper plates and whatever. But now the sink is leaking into the under part. So it's leaking into the cabinet. You feel defeated? Super duper. It just looks like I need to tighten up the fitting, but I can't really tighten it while, while there's water in it. So I might have to uh, grab a bucket, dump it into the bucket, then dump the bucket. It just, you know, more thing. issues. So, yeah, this week is going to be the week of issues. No, it's not. Don't <laughs> say things like that. Or at least the day of. The day, yeah. Okay. Well, today is the day of fixing issues. And thankfully, they're all presenting themselves so that we can fix them all. Well, this is the first, like, true, like, real, real, real cold that we've yeah. had since we've been in the van. We've had below freezing, but nothing like 10 degrees. So yeah. it's it's presenting their problems, and we're going to fix those problems. And then hopefully, hopefully we never have to deal with them again. We're going to do all the things that we need to get done today. I think it's going to be real good when we get it done. Yeah. Guess what, guys? We got a new gift. It's Christmas. All I bought for Christmas is Heat. to stay warm inside <laughs> my van. So good thing they did have the heater. They do not have the propane tanks, though, so we have to now go to Target to get the propane tanks. All I'm trying to do right now is to make sure that we have heat in the van so that way we don't freeze overnight and we can keep everything inside protected. The cleaning of... The system will happen. It's just a matter of making sure that we're good now before we start cleaning stuff. And then say I clean it and something doesn't go back in right, at least we still have heat. Okay, everything's great. Everything's awesome. Everything. Like totally freak me out like right now, right now. One bit of good news as we're driving to Target, the gray tank actually unfrosted itself. So it drained out as we were driving and that's amazing. One less problem. It's a plus. Yeah, so <laughs> we're still gonna have to fix the system so that this doesn't happen again, but at least for now, that one issue is solved. This right here is your combustion air. I pulled that off, turned it upside down, and it actually leaked out fluid right down the floor. So that fluid to me means that there is something going on in there, a little bit of moisture, so we're gonna try to get all that out. We set up shop outside an auto parts store because we figured it would be the best place to do work considering we might be in and out getting tools or other supplies. And then the best part of the day happened. See that big white truck behind us? The guy who drives it ended up being our knight in shining armor. After we were done talking, he actually offered for me to be able to go to his shop. And by his shop, he means his garage. By his garage, it means a better place than where we're working. And he's like, I have a ton of tools you could use whatever you need. So we're taking them up on his offer. Thank you, Y. It's amazing, once again, when you just go and tackle things and you have a good perspective on it, all the stuff that you ask for, that you're looking for, comes up for you just randomly. I, you know, this is, you, a lot of people might think this is fake, but it is not fake. This is just truly what happens. And it's because we talk and we're nice and, you know, 
If you do the same, the things will come to you as well. Taco, you can't lick my hands right now. They're dirty as hell. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, uh, positive attitude's paying off, you know? Positive payoff for a positive attitude. <sighs> All right, this looks Yo, pretty good. Buy it for the win. <laughs> Thank you, bro. <laughs> So it's not indoors or anything, but he does have tons of tools and we have now like a clean space to work. So, and by we, I mean Frank. Frankie. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm probably gonna stay indoors as much as possible. Um, all right, so while that happens, do you want to figure out that buddy heater and see if you could just keep the inside space warm? Okay. Like, what do you want to, what do you want to do? Uh, yeah. Nothing. I've just been like cleaning up. And, okay, like... you keep cleaning and then I'll work on that with you okay. anyway in a little bit. Okay. Step one is to remove the heater from its very tucked away spot. I know I have to take these off to get to the chamber. So you gotta remove the fan. Do so I removed the, the fan? fan already, but do I have to remove the fan motor? Oh my God, this is such a big job. We have to give a huge thank you to Stokelo Fan. For they sure. put this blog post together that is super detailed. They actually have two blog posts about the heater issue, and we actually DM'd and talked to them on Instagram about it, because saw that they wrote the article, and we're like, we know them. Let's call them and like talk it out. Yeah. So huge thank you to Stokelo Fan. We'll drop a link in the description down below for them too as well. Mm -hmm. I'm on my sixth layer. All right, so now I need to take a picture of this. And then we gotta make sure that we're putting them all back in properly because according to what they said, they could insert either way. And if you insert it wrong, it won't work. Oh my goodness. So, yeah. Oh, you got it. Bent it a little bit, but I'll bend it back. <laughs> <laughs> Finally committed. Right? I mean, it's the only way you could get it out. Look, look, how, look how bad this is. is in there. And that's crazy. That's why I wouldn't do anything. Yeah. yeah. I could just dump in here? Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah getting pretty close to having it all back together and put in place. And then we could test it out and see how it actually works. I'm really grateful that we got some new friends out of this and like everything worked out the way it needed it to. All right, so we are all put together underneath. Now all I have to do is start it back up. I'm gonna get fuel to it. And then after I get the fuel to it, then I'll set it for high altitude. Alex is having a good time in the background. <laughs> Moment of truth, hands are filthy, still eating the sandwich anyway. We just turned her on, we're gonna see if she blows out. This is all that we've eaten today. We're sharing a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. It's very hard, I made it like four hours ago. It's blowing hot! Ah, it's freaking working! All that whole day long struggle. It's also definitely turned into night outside. The sun has left us and we're both pretty hungry, so. Pretty hungry? I'm freaking starving. Yeah. I look like a human now. I spent all day non-humaning because it was a non-human kind of day. It was, it was an alien kind of day. Woo! Far to us, at least. <laughs> Our host, are so lovely. They've offered us showers, they've offered us anything that we need. Um, so we're definitely gonna take them up on that later. But first, we've offered to take them out for dinner because how well, could we not? Yeah, I mean, it is probably the most proper thing you could do is just offer dinner or something. If it's not dinner, like something to the folks that have just helped you out. Yeah. So just know that the universe is on your side if Always. you allow it to be. We're gonna give them a full F and A mega sticker combo oh. pack. Oh. And also take them out for dinner. And also, she makes these beautiful leather gloves, like yeah. hand printed. So we're gonna buy a couple sets of those. I'm gonna show as you well. what they look like. Let's get it. I'm so hungry. Let's go eat. <laughs> Let's go. We had a lovely evening with our new friends, and we're so grateful that we were able to get the heater fixed and get on the road because it was time to head to Canada. Be sure to subscribe and stay tuned for next week because we are gonna show you Ski Big Three in Alberta like you've never seen it before. We'll see you guys there.